Yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm not Peter McKinnon, but I build better gadgets than here. Let's get to the follow, folks, right? Building a follow focus is no joke, but it's fun to learn a few things that may help you. What are uh, the components that I have here and how do they work? You have a transmitter, which uses the NRF 24L01 plus PA plus LNA uh, transceiver module with an Arduino Nano and uh, uh, just a poten potentiometer, but be careful, make it a linear potentiometer and a booster with a 3.3 volt uh, battery, it boosts it to 5 volts. Uh, the other thing is I have a receiver uh, which uh, is powered by the, one of these uh, USB to 9 or 12 volt booster modules that you can get on eBay. But the biggest thing to remember is not to use a heavy duty motor. Not only that the gimbal may not support it, but also uh, it will be a lot front heavy and it will suck up uh, a lot of your battery really quick. Uh, I went with the NEMA 17 and direct drive on a, uh, here on the landscape, but it would be much better to have a reduction system with a, a small motor and it can be drived, uh, it also can be drived with a, uh, just a simple Arduino and maybe you don't even gonna need a 12 volt um, power source. I have it attached, the motor I have it attached on a, a clamp, on, on a rod and a plate that you can all buy from like eBay and use an NRF 24L01 plus the PA and the LNE amplifiers on the antenna uh, this will create a lot better range i've tried it first i've used the the smaller uh, uh, transceiver modules but they don't really have a range and they uh, lost the signal uh, and i needed to to um, to create additional antennas for them but this is just so cool you have its own antenna you can just put it in a, this, uh, in a closed uh, box and that's it. You would need to put a lot of uh, capacitors and do a little bit of magic in the code to get uh, the potentiometer not to vibrate. These potentiometers are not, uh, you're gonna have the problem that, our, that the voltage will fluctuate and wouldn't be that precise. So you may want to average it out uh, through some iterations. Also, if you're building this, I love to see it in the uh, comment section below. Post uh, some experience and I hope uh, you build a be much better system than I do. I will still not recommend this uh, one. I will still, if you have the money, just go uh, and buy Tilta. Uh, focus it's much more convenient the the time you save on a tilta i think it's worth it it's a nice experiment though i have learned a lot from this experiment i hope you had fun and thanks for watching i may make another video for uh, the code and much detail much more detail about the electronics but this is really a simple project i hope you had fun looking at it uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.